Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? I have another fantastic piece of gear to review for you guys. This is the Maxpedition Remora Gear Slinger. Let's take a look the at it. The entire bag is made of 1,000 denier lightweight ballistic nylon. Now that is uh, water resistant, abrasion resistant, and uh, dirt and grime resistant. This is a DuPont, a triple polyurethane coating over the entire bag, and which is a DuPont coating. And uh, that'll protect your bag from moisture, dirt, and grime. If you get water on it, you shake it off, it falls right off. It beads right up and falls off. And I've had experience with that working. Abrasion resistant, you do will not scratch up. And uh, dirt resistant, if you get dirt and grime on it, it just wipes right off. This front pocket right here is six by six by one. When I say that I mean six by six by one inches and in capability to expand. So that's pretty, that's pretty substantial, and that thing can hold a lot, believe it or not. You open up this other little slip pocket, and it is six. This pocket is six by five inches deep. So six by five. This main compartment right here, this is nine by five by three, uh, by three. That is three inches in uh, expansion capability, which like I said, that is very substantial for a bag of this size. The two main compartments on the inside are both, are both six by eight inches deep. The entire bag has a, has a, uh, and volume is 225 cubic inches. Empty weight is 18.3 ounces. All right, now that I got all those technical specs out of the way, I'll just tell you everything about this bag that makes it great. And that's not me being biased, that's just me having experience with this bag and absolutely loving it. All right, first of all, I'm gonna start with the, the coloration here. This is the khaki, as you can see. This also comes in foliage green, OD green, black, and the ACU digital which they all look pretty cool, but I'm, I'm partial to khaki myself. As I said, this was a gear slinger. This is the smallest in the gear slinger line, and it's just amazing. It's got the integrated shoulder strap that comes with it. You do not have to purchase this. And it's just really cool. It goes over your shoulder. Uh, it's ambidextrous for left or right hand carry. Unlike a lot of the fat boys, you know, you have to get the S, fat boy S type for the left hand carry or just the regular fat boy for right hand. This is uh, ambidextrous. So that's really, uh, I think that was a really cool little uh, feature about this bag. You can carry it either, either way. It's got ton, uh, tons of PALS webbing, so it's Molly compatible. Uh, you can load this thing up to the gills, man. Freaking fill up with stuff. Has the concealed carry pocket like a lot of the fat boys have and most of the other gear slingers do. The belt loop and hardened plastic D rings and all that stuff. Now that I got the uh, you know the gist of what makes this great, I'm gonna go into some detail. First you got this front pocket right here, which um, I keep my first aid kit in because it's just easy to easy to get to. Like I said, it's six by six. It's got the heavy duty uh, YKK zipper tracks. All of the zippers have the um, paracord zipper pulls, which are very, they're very high quality paracord, by the way. It's not something like uh, shoelace. It's actually military grade 550 cord. So it feels anyway. And you have uh, two rows with four PAL straps and you have a grommeted drainage hole at the bottom of this pocket. In case anything gets in there you don't want to get in there, it's just gonna drain right out. So that's a really cool feature. All right, second, second of all, you have um, this secondary pocket right here, which zips open like so. Very deep pockets, opens up very wide. Yeah, you have another grommeted drainage hole in this pocket, and you have this slip pocket right there with a keeper, a little key keeper. That's cool how they did that. They put the little hook on that swiveling ball there. Or they have a swivel, this hook swiveling around the ball, which is really cool. 
You can put your keys down in there. You get a little piece of nylon to uh, keep it to the bag. I keep my notebooks and whatnot in there. And you have two thick elastic um, loops right here. So you can put whatever you want and they're very secure, very strong. Um, all the stress points of this bag are double stitched. So that's what I love about Maxpedition that they do that. They're all double stitched for, for um, extra security. And this thing feels rock solid. Did you get that? And you have uh, two zippers for this pocket. So you could, you could if you wanted, keep it like that and just like lay it down and do like so. I prefer to just keep one to one side. That's just me. So you have that, that like I said, they both have the, uh, the paracord zipper pulls with the YKK uh, heavy duty tracks. All right, on the uh, the sides here, you also have more PALS webbing. The ones in the back are uh, feel they look a little bit thicker, but they may be the same. Uh, they may be the same width. We have two rows here and two rows on this side, which I strap one of my flashlights on here using a um, Molly compatible flashlight holster, my 511 tactical. And on the front here, like most of your Maxpedition. Well, not most, but a lot of your Maxpedition bags, you have a little loop field with your shock cord. Now, what's different from this loop field and some of the other Maxpedition bags, this has the Maxpedition logo on the loop field. Now, I don't feel that this inhibits the function of the loop field at all. I have a patch that covers the majority of the field, and uh, this uh, logo does not get in the way. So that does not inhibit the patch from adhering to the loop field at all, in my experience. You have this uh, heavy duty shock cord, which is a bungee material that is flexible on here with the, uh, the cord lock. So it expands pretty, pretty well. It comes in an X shape. You can change that if you ever wanted, but um, you know, you put a water bottle in there, a flashlight, and it has a channel running behind the loop field, much like the Maxpedition FR1. So you got this big channel running behind there where you can keep little concealed things. Um, I keep an extra pair of medical gloves behind there. And I'm going to get to the main pocket now. Heavy duty number 10 YKK zipper tracks. They're a lot thicker than most. Very heavy duty. You got two. That's how far it opens up. And in there, you have a um, nice pocket right here with a loop field covering almost the entire inside of the pocket for a concealed carry. Maxpedition makes uh, pistol holsters that are Velcro and they'll adhere right to that if you ever wanted to carry that way. You have, an, uh, you have this elastic Velcroed strap right here that goes over this pocket, which is very nice. That keeps everything secure in this pocket that you want to keep secure. And obviously they couldn't do it with that one if you're going to conceal carry, you'd want the handle of your firearm sticking out so you could uh, grab it easily. So they didn't put a strap on that side. This pocket is a little bit more taut. It doesn't give as much as this one right here. Cause like I said, that's meant for a conceal carry. So that was where, that's where you'd keep some valuables, things you really don't want to fall out. And then to extra security, have a little flap that goes down over there. You can, you can look on the inside how kind of squared off in shape it is. That is absolutely perfect for filling this thing to its ca to its maximum capability, and it's also it also has the uh, the grommeted drainage hole in the bottom. Very nice main pocket. Get that zipped up. I just love I love the YKK zippers. They're just buttery smooth. If you've never if you've never used some of the gear, then I mean you just have to. I mean, just simple little things like that. I know a lot of people are like, man, why are you going on about zippers? Well, I mean, I want to open my bag fast without any kind of my, any the zipper tracks breaking or coming off the tracks, which I have had happen to some of my other gear. And that this never happened with this, so. You can see it's also squared off in the bottom. So it's very nice if you want to set your bag down, it's going to stay down. It's not going to like fall over or, you know, it's generally going to stay like that. So that's neat when you want to set it down, it's, it will stay down. It has a very nice carrying handle with a foam, it's like a foam rubber cover to it. For It's very comfortable. I, re I really like that grip. 
It, um, uh, I think I like the handle on the FR1 a little bit more, where it's that uh, traction rubberized handle. Uh, I think it adds, adds a little bit more grip. But this, if you're carrying a heavier, a heavier loadout, this is a, I think better in that in this application because it will absorb a lot of the weight. You get two heavy D rings right here. Very nice. And uh, you also have them on the bottom here. Now that is for your carry. As you see, the um, this little beaner connects to that. And that is so you can carry this guy left or right hand. And you can also have the option, if you carry it with, with the little D-ring attachment here, attached to, uh, or this little carabiner attachment, when you attach to the D-rings on the top, it adds for a little bit more of a, I call it like a satchel carry. It's more for like, it carries more like the fat boys carry around the uh, carries down the hip area along the side your sides whereas when you clip them down to the bottom here I think it's more of a backpack carry and I'll show you how this carries on me and how I have it set up and in just a moment so other than that let's look at the back here back here you have this really nice like cross-sectioned, um, rubberized, and vented pad. Very nice thick pad that goes across your back. Very, very comfortable to wear. I mean, it's like you're not really wearing anything. It's very, very comfortable. And it's rubberized so it doesn't slip around on your on your uh, t-shirt a lot, or whatever you're, whatever you're wearing. It doesn't slip around or move around a lot. Once you have it on your back, it's usually staying on your back, or your side, however you wish to carry this uh, particular bag. Another D-ring right here. Use that, you can pull off the little uh, button closure here. And this is another concealed carry pocket for your firearms. I keep some bandanas packed in here. And I like how this little, this little like, uh, I guess you call it a nub, comes out of the bag with that button. So it's easy to button this back up instead of the button being actually fastened to the bag. I'm gonna sit there and try to press it into the bag. It's almost impossible. So that's very nice that they did that. It also offers it to be able to expand a little bit more if you want to carry this a little bit more full than most. So you have that concealed carry pocket with the loop field in there for your Velcro holsters. Like I said, you can also carry a ton of different stuff in here. It does not have to be just for a firearm. This really, really thick, uh, non-slip rubberized belt loop here is sewn into this little padded cushion. This is Velcro, very nice. Um, so if you're carrying this kind of low and you don't want it to move around a whole lot, you can put it around your belt and it won't slap up against your side or your back. So that is nice. Now you would have to unstrap that if you were to take this bag off of you, which, you know, if you need to get to your bag in a hurry, that's gonna probably cause a problem. So I never really used that, but it's nice that they offer this. I think it's a really cool feature. And uh, this will accommodate up to a two and a half inch belt, by the way. So, really thick belt. You could probably put it on your um, your war belt. I would imagine. So, very nice. Um, let me get to. Uh, lastly, I'll leave. Uh, I'll get to the uh, the strap. You have two uh, little lashing little lashes right here. For uh, you, you could carry something on there with a clip if you wanted. Right here you have what they call the warrior side release buckle. And uh, as it came, it was like, it was this, it was laying on top of this little elastic strap. But let me tell you something. You're carrying your loadout, if you're using this as a day bag or whatever. Now I'm not saying this will happen, but it is a possibility. If somebody gets a big pair on them and uh, wants to try to take this from you, all they would have to do is come up behind you release that and then run off with your bag and everything that's inside of it. And also if you're concealed carrying, it's gonna be a problem because they just stole your firearm. So I don't know if this is what Maxpedition had intended, but this is a good idea because you can put the side release buckle up underneath that and buckle it in and you can't really, it's hard to deactuate, but you can unlock it. But most people aren't going to see that. They're not going to notice. They're gonna think that's one solid buckle. So it hides the side release buttons so that nobody can come up behind you and just kind of press the buttons and run off with your bag. Because this is going to be behind you generally or on your side. 
So that is a really cool idea in my opinion. I don't know if it was meant as that, but that's what I use it for. Also this little uh, tongue, what I call it, right here, has a, has a hidden pocket right there. It goes down to about, it goes down to where that uh, stitching begins, right there. So you could carry stuff in there, it'd be really hard to get out, but you know, carry something in there with a lanyard coming out of it, maybe. Some paper with it sticking up out of there a little bit. Really thick um, strap, the same quality as the straps you get from Maxpedition. You got it all twisted around right now. It also has a an elastic keeper right here, so you can keep your unused amount of um, shoulder strap, which is very nice as well. And a very nice swiveling uh, little carabiner style clip here. It's very nice. That is hardened plastic. It's like a fiberglass reinforced nylon. UTX. I like how it has the little tech texturing right there. Very thick. Very heavy duty. Goes right on there. I actually got this on backwards. Just one second. All right. So, like I said, very nice, very high quality, very heavy duty. Also, another another cool feature about this is that if you did not want to carry it around your carry it. Um, with the strap, you could take the strap off altogether and tuck this tongue down in the concealed carry pocket and then button it up with this button right here. And then you have a bag, just a regular old pack, throw in your car, whatever, just forget about it. You could also attach it to the bag and carry it inside that little concealed carry pocket as well. It will accommodate all that. Fold it up. And be about be on your way. Then you need a bag, strap over your shoulder or your back. You're ready to go. Very, very awesome. Alright guys, that was my review of the Maxpedition Remora Gear Slinger bag. Awesome bag, I've been using it as a day pack for my EDC carry slash emergency survival for about the past few days, the past three days. And I wanna thank you to everybody who watched my last Maxpedition carry video uh, when I asked for advice on what to carry. You guys came up with a bunch of responses and uh, video responses and I really appreciate it guys. Thank you so much. And it helped me make the decision to carry this as a day pack. So I upgraded from my FR1 to this guy and I couldn't be happier. All right, here's how it would carry. You're carrying it on your back. This is just how I carry it. I carry it kind of high. Uh, you could obviously carry it down lower, um, carry it on your side. But this is how it carries. Here's how I like to carry it. Uh, it's very comfortable. And if you wanted to, you could detach this. And of course, you could make the strap a lot longer than I have it right now. I'd have it to set carry, set carried uh, pretty high on my back. You could carry it on a top D ring like that. Carry it over your shoulder, maybe, and um, that's how it was looking. We even moved the camera just to Tad, and then you could carry it like like so. Just sling it over your shoulder if you had something else heavier to carry. You didn't feel like just throwing this over your back real quick. Just carry it like that. Also very comfortable. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed my review. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Oh, by the way, before I go, the saying retails from Maxpedition. For $89.99. I got it for $72 at Blade Show. Couldn't be more happy. So thank you to the people over at Maxpedition for giving me that deal on this bag. It's great. Uh, check out their website if you're interested in this bag or any other of their products. www.maxpedition.com. Link down below in the description. I said, hope you enjoyed. Maxpedition or Mora. Guys, stay sharp, stay prepared. Sherman 614, peace.